Cherubs Chalks Interiors. I'm a content creator for Dixie Belle Paint and today I'm going to show you how I transformed this desk behind me using a custom silk mineral paint mix and a gorgeous stencil on the top. So here is how the desk started out. It's a lovely solid piece but it did need a bit of repair. Some of the trims were missing that I had to replace and this leather top has seen better days. So before I started, I gave the piece a deep clean all over using white lightning, which I conveniently forgot to film. Um, and now I'm coming back with my Festool sander with a 120 grit, and I'm just going to scuff sand the whole piece. Now I'm going to mix a colour for this one. So I'm starting with Wharf. This is going to be the main colour, and I'm using two parts. So in this case, 200 mil. Then I'm going to use some Serenity, which is obviously a gorgeous blue. I'm using one part or 100 mil. And the same with the Hampton Olive, another one part or 100 mil in this case. Now let's give that all a good mix up and then I'll show you the colour. So, time to get the paint on. I'm going to use two coats of this. It's got really good coverage and the colour is really gorgeous. I'm using a synthetic brush and I'm applying this in long, even brush strokes for a lovely, smooth finish. Now, with the top, I'm just gonna do the same process. I'm just gonna paint it all over including the lever. Now I've got some big plans for this top. I'm going to make it gorgeous using the geometric modern stencil. This is Dixie Belle's new stencil and I can't wait to try it out. Now I'm actually going to go for a raised stencil on this, so I'm using some white Dixie mud. I've got a wooden spatula and I'm just applying the mud over the stencil. This process would have been much easier if I could have found my wider plastic spatula, but it was nowhere to be seen. So if you've got one of those, that will make the job much quicker. Now I've finished all of the stenciling. I've left it to dry overnight because the Dixie mud can take a little while longer because of the consistency to dry. So now I've come back with some satin clear coat because it's really important to protect that finish. The silk does not need to be sealed, but the mud does. So I'm just using my blue sponge and doing long sweeping strokes all over. Once that's dry, I'm coming back again with some masking tape. I'm gonna mask off the leather pad where the stencil is. And then I'm going to get some white Bestang wax. And I'm just gonna apply the wax all over the stencil using my French tip brush. Once I've got a good layer of wax all over the piece, I'm going to come back with some blue shop cloth and I'm just going to wipe away any excess. Now that's ready, I'm just going to remove the masking tape, finish putting on the remaining handles and she's ready for her photo shoot. I really love how the wax has given the writing pad a more rustic feel and this alongside the sleek finish of the silk paint is just the perfect combination. I'm really impressed with this gorgeous colour. I didn't really know what to expect when I put those three colours together but this colour is just gorgeous. I think that adding the Serenity and the Hampton Olive to the wharf created a much warmer grey tone and I'm loving it with the gold handles. Thank you so much for joining us today. I hope that you enjoyed the tutorial. If you'd like to see more of our projects, you can go and follow us on all of the social media platforms at Cherubs Chalks Interiors. I look forward to seeing you there. For more videos like this, be sure to subscribe, leave a comment and turn on your post notifications to get notified when we next post. Thanks for watching.